What's up guys, Kyle here with Awesome Sauce Network. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm sorry I'm really sweaty right now and not too presentable, uh, although I'm usually not that presentable anyway. But it's freaking hot in this house and I've been working in the garage all morning, so that's kind of why I'm um, the way I am. Uh, but that's besides the point. Today I'm going to be focusing on, well, let, let's say this first off. This is the first video in a series of many videos uh, on my custom water cool build that I am planning. I'm currently in the really early stages right now, so I'm just now starting to actually um, take action. Uh, the first thing that I'm, gonna, that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some custom modding. Now, I'm not a huge modder by any means. I actually have like no modding experience, so I'm slightly terrified that I'm gonna just F everything up uh, in this one run. But uh, I've done a lot of research online. I even asked some help uh, from guys like Bill Owen and stuff like that. And this is by no means a tutorial also. So do as I say. No, don't even do as I say. Don't do anything that I'm doing. Um, even though I have looked into it extensively, this is my first time doing it. So this is not a tutorial. This is just me documenting my experience with modding, uh, this particular kind of mod, which is painting. I'm going to be custom painting some stuff today, which is the thermal armor on the Z, I'm sorry, the X99 Sabertooth board. So here's the thermal armor that I've taken off of the motherboard right there. It's in the Define S, by the way, which is the case I'm building this Epic system in. So my color scheme of uh, that I had in mind was to do a black, gray, and hot pink build. Um, I know you're probably like, what? Hot pink? Who, who, who are you, Linus? Uh, but that's that's not the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, as much as I love Linus, I'm actually doing it just, just for myself. I think uh, that color scheme has not really been seen too much in the custom modding community. Uh, and, you know, I, I'm kind of sick of seeing the, the red, blue, green, uh, black and white type stuff. So I just thought I'd do something different. So that being said, I'm going to do some painting on this thermal armor. It's very uh, easy to mod, I would think. Very easy to paint because it's removable, obviously, like you can see. Uh, but I'm going to keep the black in there. Like I said, black is one of the, the theme colors. So I'm going to keep that sexy black finish right there. I'm not going to touch that. I'm actually going to mask all of the black off. It's just this upper region and this side region right here that I'll be uh, spray painting over. I'm going to be spray painting that in gray. Uh, I think going pink with that is a little bit too bold. And uh, if you're worried that this is going to look like a piece of bubble gum when it's all done, uh, don't, uh, as far as the computer goes, because the only thing that's really going to be pink in the system is the fluid. And I've got the fluid right here. It's uh, from Mayhem. It's Mayhem's Pastel Perfect Pink. And uh, I can take the cap off really quick. Hold on, check this out. Yeah. Feet for the win. Alright, so... I'm going to show you guys the color of this pink. I'm going to bring it to the surface just a bit so you can see it. Making sure not to drip it all over my parents' carpet, or my grandparents' carpet. So there it is. It's a nice, nice vibrant pink right there. And I think that's going to match pretty well with the black and gray. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I have done some test painting already. That's what I was doing this morning in the garage. And I actually painted a couple fans. Uh, the other two are downstairs, so I can't show them to you. But this is the first one I painted. Uh, I left the, the blade as is, it was already gray, it was a full black fan, but I painted the frame in gray. Now this isn't the gray that I'm going to use, but it is very similar. I actually ran back to the hardware store because it wasn't the exact gray that I wanted. This is a little bit darker than the shade that I was looking for. But uh, I think the paint job came out pretty nice. Um, the brand I'm using is, I think it's Rus Rusto something. It's super popular, you guys probably know it right away. But uh, and you know what, I'm going to put the cap on this before I knock it over and cry myself to sleep because I would do something like that. The first thing I'm going to do today, and, and in this video, because I'm going to save the fans for a later video, spray painting all those. Today, I'm just going to be focusing on the thermal armor for for the, uh, the X99 Sabertooth. And uh, the first step I need to do is mask off all the black stuff so I don't get any overspray. And then I'm just going to go to town and spray this bitch. And it's going to look awesome, hopefully. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really scared that I'm going to mess it up. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and mask this off and let's get spraying.
so here's the thermal armor all masked off with the, the painter's tape that I had. Looking pretty good. As you can probably tell from the time lapse, I was also using a straight razor with a brand new blade and a very small flathead screwdriver just to help me get all the edges uh, and cut away any unwanted tape so I could get really smooth lines. And it's looking pretty nice. Uh, also, you want to make sure that you wipe it down with a tack cloth before you start spray painting. This just gets off all the dust, uh, little particles, as well as finger oils that are on your subject uh, before you start painting. Because once you paint over that stuff, it's, uh, it's pretty much on there for good. So, pro tip right there. Actually, amateur tip that the pros use, because I am an amateur, but the pros also do it. Uh, this is the paint I'm using. It's a uh, XO Rust Professional Primer. And... Yeah, it's pretty good. I actually did another uh, test spray on this fan. This is a different fan than the one I showed you. As you can see here, I spray painted the blades this time. Let me go ahead and turn the aperture up so you can actually see. There it is. So that's the, the finish that I'm going for. That's that's uh, the coat that I'm going to be doing for the thermal armor. Uh, I, I could have used one or two more coats, but I just kind of wanted to get a feel for the color. Uh, but the quality of the paint's really good. Um, and hopefully, with a steady hand, I can achieve the same results. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I should mention this hanging contraption I have here with a Cat5 cable. Very professional. Uh, definitely don't do this <laughs> by any means. Um, I mean, unless you want to. Uh, attach to a light fixture, a studio light with a sandbag for sure to weigh it down. Um, obviously, you could do this if you wanted to, but uh, just make sure that the Cat5 cable or whatever string or cable that you're using uh, you, you don't mind getting a bunch of paint on. Or, or you could mask it off, I guess. You could do it that way, too. Uh, also, I'm using just some little bits of wire to hang it, routing it through the, uh, the little holes where the motherboard screws go. And that seems to hang it up pretty nice without interfering with the, uh, the object. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, cross your fingers for me, say a prayer, and let's get spray painting. Alright guys, so this is the day after uh, that I spray painted this thing. Um, it's not completely dry, it's been a good 16 hours, but the can says wait 24 hours uh, until it's fully dry. Of course it says it's uh, safe to handle and whatnot, so I actually put it back onto the Sabertooth X99 so I can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. And I'm actually really happy with the results. As you can see, it came out pretty smooth. It, uh, Thermal armor still retains a lot of detail. I'm not sure if you can tell from the camera, but you can still see the texture on the this part of the uh, the plastic piece, as well as all the the text is, is very legible as well. Uh, so I'm really happy. I did probably do a few more coats than I should have, and I think that made the the gray come out a little bit darker than I than I would have liked. Uh, the reason why I did so many coats was just simply because there were so many nooks and crannies in the thermal armor that weren't getting coated. Uh, evenly so had I only done like two or three coats uh, you would have definitely seen some patches here uh, where the color the, the original color would be showing underneath and I didn't really want that so at the sacrifice of a cleaner look I, uh, I made the gray a little bit darker but I think it's gonna work out all right uh, I actually put some of the mayhem pastel perfect pink liquid in this little vial here so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like especially next to the um, next to the other colors so this is kind of gonna be the color scheme guys it's gonna be liquid going in all through all the tubes uh, with black and gray. Uh, as far as like the beige color on the Sabertooth X99, I was a bit concerned about that at first, but I'm not so much anymore because I realized that most of this is gonna be covered up uh, once all the components are installed anyway. But uh, overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit here, you can kind of get an idea. I've started installing the radiators just for, for placement and just trying to see uh, where my runs are gonna be. Um, you can see I've got a 360 up here and I've got a 240 at the front. I think I'm only gonna be doing push for both of these. Uh, I couldn't really get away with push-pull uh, up top here because the uh, the RAM's gonna be, there's not enough RAM clearance there for, for push-pull here. And I probably could do push-pull here uh, because as you can see, I have the front panel of the, the Define S taken off. You mount two fans here, and I could mount two fans here, but it's just gonna make routing the, the tubing 
from this port to the reservoir a bit more difficult or it's going to look, you know, uh, messy or untidy. So just, you know, I'm a beginner here. I'm a total noob, guys, when it comes to custom water cooling. So I'm just going to keep things simple and from there I can maybe upgrade later on down the road if I, if I am so inclined. Um, but uh, yeah, there's the pump reservoir combo. Pumps at the bottom. We've got the nice 204 uh, millimeter, I believe, is uh, the length of that tube, which I think fills up the case pretty nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool stuff. I also have my, um, my water block here. I can just put that there. Don't worry, I have the socket cover on. I know I probably almost gave someone a heart attack there, but uh, that's what it's gonna kind of gonna look like. Obviously, it's gonna really come together once everything's all installed but i think that's pretty much gonna do it for now guys um let me know what you guys think of this paint job like i said it's my first time so go go easy on me but uh personally speaking i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so thank you all for watching hope you guys enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we be making more videos especially about this water cooling video coming really soon water cooling build coming really soon and i'll catch you guys in the next one